Hi, I'm Matt with PineCard.com, and today we're going to be looking at one of the Pine Car Precision Tools that's going to assist us with the process of wheel tuning. Now we all know that friction is a bad name when it comes to building a winning derby racer, especially when it comes to the contact area between your wheel hub and your axle. Well, today we're going to be smoothing out all those high friction areas by introducing one of the Pine Car Precision Tools, the Total Hub Shaper. Now this tool is going to remove flash and any imperfections in the wheel bore. It's going to shape, cone, and polish your inner hubs. And it's also going to shave and square your outer hub. Now the Total Hub Shaper is a one-piece solid steel tool that also has a very convenient hub shaving attachment. And as with all Pine Car Precision Tools, it's CNC machine, and what that tells me is I'm getting a very accurate and a very high quality tool. Now let me show you how this works. The first thing we need to do is ream the wheel bore, and this is the process of removing mold flash and correcting any imperfections in the bore itself. To do this, start with the squaring end of the shaper, making sure it's not the coning end. Insert the pin into the bore on the back side of the wheel, and twist the wheel onto the pin several times until the bore is clean and free of resistance. Now the next step is going to be to square the inner hub to the bore, and that's going to ensure it's a smooth rotation of the wheel. All right, so we're gonna be using the 220 grit sandpaper provided, and you want to start by dipping it in the water to soften it up. On a scrap piece of wood, pierce the squaring end of the shaper through the back side of the wet sandpaper, and while firmly gripping the tool and sandpaper together, slide the wheel onto the pin until the hub sits flush on the tool. At this point, simply rotate the wheel back and forth for approximately 10 seconds. Once all four wheels are complete, you want to repeat that process using 600 grit sandpaper to help polish that inner hub. Now, if your race rules provide, I highly recommend the option of coning your inner hub, which is going to reduce that contact point in between the wheel hub and the car body itself. This is obviously going to reduce a lot of friction and pick up quite a bit of speed on the track. The steps are the same as squaring a hub using both grades of sandpaper, but this time you'll be using the coning end of the tool to round the edges of the hub. Now to turn our attention to the outer hub portion of our wheel, we're now going to be using the hub shaver attachment. This is designed to remove any extra flash or imperfections on the wheel hub, which is again going to reduce that friction. Slide the attachment over either pin on the hub tool. At this point, push the pin onto the outer hub and rotate the wheel three complete turns while pressing against the shaver to clean up that hub. Now here's a great tip for you. The Total Hub Shaper is actually perfect for applying Hobby Lube Dry Graphite into your inner hub. Simply place a small amount of graphite onto the coned end of the tool and work into the hub. Now once I've taken all these steps and I'm happy with my results, I like to take one more step by polishing my inner bores using the Pine Car Diamond Finishing Kit. Now that your wheel hubs are in great shape, you can bring a lot more confidence to the track come race day. To learn more about WheelTruin or any other Pine Car Precision Tool, visit us at PineCar.com.